I searched for a car to compete in the Mille Miglia. It was a quite a long process to find the right car. Because I want to have a fast car, and it has to look great. So I searched. Well, there was one problem, how to convince my wife to buy this car. Because she said, hey, why you compete in the Mille Miglia? Okay, you can do that, but why spend a, a fortune for that? I said, hey, come on, you have to see the car, because I already went to see the car and, and I fell in love with the car. And so I convinced her to come with me. So I show her the car and she said, okay, it looks good, nice. And I said, wait, wait, let's start the engine. I said, okay, you can start the engine. The song, and my wife said, you can buy it. I drive a Ferrari 340 America Vignale Spider from 1952 next work racer. This car has driven the Mille Miglia in 1952. And Enzo Ferrari took his best driver into the best car trying and unfortunately, the car failed after leading 1,000 kilometers. So Piero Terruffi took another a trial to win the Mille Miglia, which he did in 1957 then. This car was quite successful in the other time. It competed in the Grand Prix Bern, which the car had a pool position against all the Mercedes gold wings at that time. And in 1952, after that, competed also in the Le Mans. After Le Mans, still as a uh, works car for Ferrari, Enzo Ferrari took the winner of the Mille Miglia 1952, Bracco, into the car and tried to win the Targa Floria. So this car in 1952 the most important Ferrari for sure. Ferrari worked a lot with, with the coach Bill Turing, and in 1952, with this particular car, he starts also uh, to work with uh, Vignale. This car you can like it or you can love it, but it's, in my opinion, poor race design. It's reduced uh, in, a, in a minimum. In comparison to Pininfarina, this coach will try to make the car more beautiful maybe, but Vignale was just functional. So I felt in love with the shape, with the minimum of uh, design. If you see the car complete, it's a beauty. My first day with the car was, was really enjoyable. Actually, it was the Mille Miglia. <laughs> so I have a long way to drive. I was a little bit afraid about the power of the car, and, or not afraid, I was respectful, let's say, in this word. And because it was also a piece of history for me, because I really appreciate the history of the car. And I don't want to damage the car at that time. In the beginning, it wasn't very easy because it's, uh, 340 is actually a beast. You have to be very careful by pushing the accelerator, otherwise the car goes in the back. But after a while, when I feel more confident and uh, overtook a lot of cars during the Millenaria, it was so amazing. And Italy, a Ferrari, all the spectaculars on the street, it was like a dream for me. It was uh, incredible how the Italians loved the Ferrari. When I find out it was a Ferrari, they go crazy. They kiss the body, they want to sit inside because they appreciate the car so much. I'm 
very much interesting in history of Ferrari. I was aware that in 1952 this car was the most important car for Ferrari and at that time they didn't make too many cars so they haven't too much money so they invest time, money and all the efforts in this car. And so for me it is an honor to drive this car because I'm a part of this fantastic history of Ferrari.